Spring road trip continues right now with 20 towns in 20 days, so get ready for a blast from the past in Bristol. We're going back to the 90s. Channel 3's Wendell Edwards is live. He's been there all afternoon at Lake Compounds with more tonight, and I see he's strapped into something here. Hi, Wendell. Mark, this is crazy. I'm too old for this and quite <laughs> frankly too big. This ride is called the Revolution, but thankfully this one is staying put because right now we're going to throw it back to the 90s because I got a chance to talk with two grads from Bristol Central. They are fast friends and I caught up with them as they took a look back. The Riverside Restaurant in Bristol. That's Mr. T. Del had him for art. Served as the perfect backdrop for these Bristol Central High graduates to meet up. One of the Tricola brothers used to climb up on top of the lockers. I don't know if it was him. And reminisce about high school in the 1990s. Hacky sack. Hacky sack. We played every day before school in the yep. gym. This diner was a major hangout back then. Today, it's the perfect place to reflect. So Riverside's a, Riverside is one of the few places left in Bristol, unfortunately, that I think all, both of our classes kind of came to. Chris Blum graduated in 1998. He was in band and in theater, and he went by his last name because he had to. There were seven Chris's in my friend group, so we all just went by our last names. Maggie Robinson, or Mags back then, graduated in 1995. She was a cheerleader and also in theater with lots of friends and even more memories from the fashion the hats with like jewels on them or I'd paint ripped up jeans to the fun clubs all the clubs I was in choir I was in the concert choir the jazz choir which I founded the magical group jazz band stage band concert band marching band brass band. but they listened to a different kind of music Kurt Cobain died when I was in, in Kurt Cobain school, died when I was in high school it was part of the soundtrack to their social circle if you wanted to hang out, it was, you, know, you, you had to, you had you to call the house up. phone. You called the house phone. You had to talk in code because my mom was always listening. And the one constant from the 90s that stands out today to be social, you had to show up in person. We didn't have cell phones in school. There was no social media. We were much more unplugged than people are now. So we, like we said, we hung out at people's houses and we just talked and we were stupid. Today, they still hang out, just not as often as they like. But when they do, I'm a house person. Like we go to either my house or other people's houses. Yeah, we did just, that in high school too. Which is what we mostly did in high school. It's a time years gone by, but still friends that when they get together makes it feel like no time has passed at all. But the reality has been about 30 years. It was just a pleasure talking to all these graduates, really, because it really does take you back to your own time when you were in high school. But for the 90s, too, it was just that time that many of them say they obviously will always remember. What I'm going to remember is that I am too old to be riding rides.